Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television GPTV. I'm Brett, and my hands is one of TKO Studios, TKO Shorts, the father of all things. Uh, so the TKO Shorts are, are interesting. They're, you know, smaller comics. I mean, literally smaller. That This is the normal graphic novel size from them. See, small little difference. Uh, and the story's shorter as well. It's about 14 pages and then some extra material. There's, I believe, three of them total that have come out. We're going to go review them uh, each at a time as if they were normal sized comics um it, they're pretty, it's kind of interesting it's a one shot you know fully contained story um the cover a little bit thicker of a color or cover um paper is actually fairly nice like the presentation is is pretty solid uh, it reminds me actually a lot of the comics i pick up at at some like small press expo uh one shot just really interesting ideas uh, something you know i might not see necessarily on the comic shelves uh, it's cool. Like, I, I, I dig the concept. So the first one in hand, it's actually the second one numbered. Um, there's three numbers. This is number two, but I don't know if the other two have been released yet digitally. This one is out this week digitally, at least on Comixology. Uh, you can actually buy the physical copy, so um, just kind of go through them as they get released. Uh, so this is The Father of All Things, fairly interesting comic. Uh, it's written by Sebastian Gurner. Uh, Baldemir Rivas Rivas is the artist. Sorry if I mispronounced your name. Uh, Steve Wan's the letter. Sebastian Gurner is uh, the editor. So the story is uh, is, is this guy named I guess it would be George. It would be the German equivalent of George. That's kind of the way I would get it. Uh, Fourteen year old in August nineteen fourteen. Joe uh, joins the army to go uh, head into battle of nineteen fourteen. Obviously World War One. And in battle, he meets up with a uh, an evil. We'll call it a primordial evil. Uh, I think it's a great way of putting it. It's it's a really interesting story. Um, kind of like a fairly like. I don't know if I'd call it like a parable or an allegory or anything, like that, but it's definitely. There's definitely some layers about it, and and something's going to kind of get you to think and like really kind of go through like what was the underlying meaning and point and you know what what was the theme in in the comic um you know this it, it's an interesting story you know i, I like it like I, I i i like it in that like it'd be really good as part of an anthology like if that makes sense like on its own i i think digitally it's going for like two nine yeah it's 2.99 on its own i'm kind of like and I'm not sure if I want to pay two ninety nine for it, but if it was part of like a ten dollar anthology or like a graphic novel anthology, I'd really dig it as part of it. And I know that might sound weird, but to me there is a slight difference. Like it's it's a story that gets me to think. It's a story that gets me to contemplate. Um, you know, it's, it's, I don't know if it's something that's necessarily on its own that I'd be super excited about. However, like if I went to something like Small Press Expo or something where there's a whole bunch of indie comics and I pick it up for probably five bucks, which is really funny because it's more than the three it goes for, I'd be good with the purchase. I know, it's totally weird, it makes absolutely no sense, but hopefully you out in comic world comic world uh, land would understand what I'm kind of getting at and, and going with. Um, you know, it, it's just it's it feels like a comic that you'd be really happy with finding on a table and, like, coming across at a convention. I don't know if it's a ha comic I'd be happy with, like, seeing it on a comic shelf in a shop. And I know, again, that's a weird distinction, but I feel like it's a distinction. And, again, hopefully you know what I'm talking about and it makes sense. Um, but it, it's it's good. Like, it, the story is, is pretty solid. I like it as part of, like, as, as a horror story. I would love it as part of a horror anthology. And um, the art is, is solid. Like, I, I really like the, the small details of the art and the color. It, it really it does stick out to me. That's where I'm going to leave it at, because I already showed off probably like half half the pages. Um, so it's, it's a really interesting one. If you're like really into horror... Check it out. If you want one about, like, to think about the existential, you know, aspects about war and, and like, underlying themes and stuff like that, you'd probably dig that as well. If you want, like, a short horror story, dig that. You'll you'll like it. Uh, but other than that, like, I don't know if it's satisfying. Like, it, it feels too short. It feels too quick. 
Um, the, the extras is, is decent. There's um, there's some like page layouts and some uh, some other extras to it. I think there's like a sketch of the yeah some of the non-colored parts, non-colorized parts. Um, so yeah, I mean it's it just it feels a little thin. I don't know why, but like I I I, I kind of like it. Weird, I know, I know, completely weird. Um, you should be able to get this now. Uh, you can definitely get this from the TKO site. You can get, definitely get it from Comixology. You should be able to get it through your shop. I'm not 100% sure on that. Like, I don't think you can get it through, through previews. I haven't seen it through previews, but shops should be able to order it from TKO. Um, go support your comic shop, though. Uh, really try to go to them first, as always, with these, with these videos and purchasing stuff. Uh, we got a link underneath this video. Put in your zip code. Tell the shops near you. No shop, no problem. We've got affiliate links. We definitely have some affiliates links, but this one will at least be to uh, Comixology uh, and definitely to the TKO website where you can purchase it there. Uh, the affiliate links, you know, help you help support our site, so thank you. And speaking of support, I actually want to thank TKO Studios for coming us up with the review copy. We appreciate it, and thank you for watching. Now, if you're into comics, if you are into TKO, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com or on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics. And keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.